or just how well traveled are you? Tonight we feature 54-year-old Slowak Muturi, who's probably the first man on earth to visit every one of the 193 member states of the United Nations and rather all the 195 countries of the world at least twice. The half Kenyan and half Paul has more than 35 passports. Now he's about to embark on another extraordinary journey which could see him set a Guinness World Record. Probably the first person in the world, maybe the second, who can claim to have visited all those 195 countries at least twice. I've never traveled to brag about this. You know, I've, I, I never traveled to break records and to show that I've done more than the others. This has never been important to me. Slawek Moturi, a father of two, was born in 1965 in Poland to a Kenyan father from Nyeri and a Polish mother who had met while studying in Warsaw. At the age of four, his family moved to Nairobi where he would be raised. His first plane flight was in 1969 when he was age four from Poland to Kenya. I did all levels at St. Mary's and A levels at uh, Alliance High School. After that, I went back to Poland to do my university education. I'm completely in love with Kenya, you know, starting with the scenery, the landscapes, you know, the, the clouds that are above our skies. His first most meaningful trip was in 1989 when he was still a university student. He, with two Polish friends, bought a Land Rover in England and drove all the way to Kenya. The trip took nine months and at the time, just before the collapse of communism in Eastern Europe, it was a big novelty and a huge undertaking. On 31st of December 1999, we reviewed not only 1999, but all of the 35 years that I have lived. I had visited 84 countries and territories, um, depending, dependent territories. I made a list of all the countries and territories I have not been to, and that came to about 140, and I decided that I'm going to visit all of them before I retire. And at that point, my plan was to retire in 2013. That gave me 14 years to visit the 140 remaining countries, and uh, giving, meaning I needed to visit 10 a year. So I started planning my holidays our family holidays and my holidays, around being able to visit 10 new countries every year. In, in the year 2002, for example, I visited 22 new countries. I completed my list of the 195 UN member states uh, by September 2009. He travels not just for leisure, adventure, to watch sports matches, but also sometimes for the different unique features each country has to offer. He tells us it's difficult when you have been to at least twice to every member state of the United Nations to pick a favorite place to visit. He spends 10 to 11 months of every year outside Poland, which is his base. His preferred way of seeing the world is by making long overland journeys cutting across continents. As he does every year, Slawek is currently spending the Polish winter season in the tropics. You don't have to if, it's, if you are not interested. You know, it's not something all of us have to do. What I would encourage you is to build your financial freedom. He speaks 12 languages. I ask him to say I love to travel in Polish. Kocham podróżować. Swahili. Ninapenda ku safari. And English, which is fluent. He also says it in French. J'aime voyager. Spanish. Me gusto mucho viajar. Russian, Swedish, German and Kikuyu. <laughs> <laughs> the dual citizen has more than 35 passports filled with stamps on border crossings between countries. He shows us the three passports he's currently traveling with, all which are almost full. He has only been denied a visa once to Gabon. According to the 2019 Henley Passport Index, Singapore and Japan's passports are the most powerful passports in the world. Offering visa-free access to 190 countries each, Kenya's is ranked 72nd, offering visa-free access to 71 countries. Poland's is ranked 13th, offering visa-free access to 174 countries. The African Union heads of state have adopted a resolution, which I'm waiting for its implementation. I can't wait for it to happen. But they decided that all of us in Africa can travel to all the countries in Africa without visa. 
Slawek this year decided to travel from Cape Town to Sydney by road. Is it possible? His plan is to fast travel northwards through Southern Africa, East Africa and all the way to Cairo. From there he will head east through the Middle East, South Asia and finally head south again onto the Australian continent. Other than occasional boats in Indonesia and perhaps an airplane to fly into Darwin or Kynes, Slawek plans to travel by buses, minibuses and other forms of public transport all the way. He, however, doesn't take many photos of his travels because in 2021... I am planning to visit all 195 member states of the UN again within one calendar year. To set a new Guinness World Book record in the process, he will need to travel at such a hurried pace. His larger intention is to use his 2021 groundbreaking trip to raise money for charity. The trip will take a few months. So that will mean I will have to travel at a rate of 16 and a half countries, or average, 16 and a half countries a month. Even though we live in a time of strong nationalist sentiments, anti-migrant policies and borders being closed, he believes it's still much easier and better to travel. Kenya is close to his heart. Yes, I love Kenya. Coming to Kenya also gives me a lot of pain. Kenyans have come to accept mediocrity, have come to accept rubbish, have come to accept having to queue at nine in the evening for a matatu to take us home. Why don't we have a metro system in Nairobi? Why not? So I urge you Kenyans, you know, watching me, please don't accept 0% development. Don't accept, don't settle for 15%. Demand 90% development. We deserve it. His life, if by the words of St. Augustine and I quote, the world is a book. And those who do not travel, read only a page, end of quote, is a book of numerous pages. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.